Hey everybody, how's it going? So this beast of a package uh, came in at some point today and Anthony brought it to my office and said, it's here. One of the things that I've always been really happy about, especially being in other businesses, game creators are cool. Being new game creators, it's always been great for us to be able to use others as mentors. Uh, John Zinzer with AEG has been a, a really good friend to us. Well, then when they launched this game, I was a quick back. I mean, we got to back this game. But one of the things that Anthony brought to my attention in all of my excitement wanting to back the game and be a friend to the cause is the fact that he said, oh, by the way, get used to this because it's roughly the size of D6. The deluxe version. Holy crap. So we're looking at probably 17 millimeters less depth. So our game will be to about right here. And... This is roughly, it'll be 30 millimeters shorter. So you take this part off and then stack it on the top. So it, volumetrically, this is about the size of what you're gonna get with D6. It's a beast. And yeah. basically it's a case of one. Like Who Goes There was a case of four, yeah. Endangered Orphans a case of seven, Stuffed a case of 12. We got a case of one right here. So let's see what we have. Yeah. All right. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this is, this is a monster. <laughs> Wow. All right. Okay. Yeah, that's it. So to start off, we've got a little just thank you pamphlet. Kind of says a little quick yeah. guide kind of into what you get. A little overview here. Mm -hmm. So we've got a rule book. It's not overly huge. We're looking at maybe 20 pages. So our rule book is bigger than that. Four who goes there. Oh, D6, yeah, 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 but D6 is also hardback. Uh, this a is a okay, that's player cool. handbook, too, so I'm assuming this is just a lot of reference stuff for the game. <laughs> oh, we got more books. Okay, so, so here's solo rules. All right. So another book just for solo. Some boards. Yep. That's one thing about AEG. They don't, they don't skimp. They're doing yeah. a fantastic job. Okay, so these must be player boards because it looks like you lay your cards out. Got nice printing right. quality. So yeah, you can punch boards. Looks like we got pretty standard quality thicknesses. Good stock. Oh my goodness. They got they have an actual leather oh, bag. Wow. And then uh, a paper pad. That uh, that's always a good sign. It's gonna be a lot to keep track of. Goodness, there's so much stuff. Oh, they have sleeves. So I think what I saw on this one is it's one of the games where you actually slide in and upgrade your cards as you play. So you have these translucent cards on acetate that have, you know, icons that as you slide them in, you now become whatever this class is or or you get an upgrade or something like that. Oh, is this tarot card size? Or even I don't know. I don't know if it's tarot card size, it seems, but it's definitely longer than a poker size. Yeah. Yeah. See, so here's more of the upgrade things. So you'll have like a, a level two, which you can put on top of. I'm assuming a, some other level, and then this top slot will be open for another thing. It's a pretty cool little interesting concept. That looks like that looks like it'll be really fun. Let me see how one of them looks. Oh yeah, pretty translucent. Obviously, when you stack like 20 of them together, you can't see through mm -hmm. them, but. But I think once you get three deep, you'll still be able to see through it pretty cleanly. Big chunk of locations. Okay, so obviously everything is, is good thickness. I mean, this is no skimping here. You look at it for quality, I look at it for weight. These are some nice uh, dual oh, layer yeah. boards. It's real good quality. Yeah, I like that. They don't have a, an issue with bowing or anything. Some cubes. Some uh, coins. Plastic coins, just little marker tokens. Look like it'd be pretty nice quality tokens. They all seem pretty nice. Well, this is a massive um, tower. I guess, I guess there's a dice dropping mechanic or, or the cubes. You, you drop them through, and then whatever you know sorts out is, I guess passed around. So it's basically a sorter is what it looks like. There's a- well, I'm all in now. I'm, I want to play with the toy. Right. So like if you look on the inside, there's the slots and rails, basically like a pachinko board or whatever. What are they called? Plinko? Plinko. Plinko board. We got some minis now. Here comes fun stuff. So looks like we got some nice looking minis. We got a lot of detail. These are, these are good for, I'm assuming these are just plastic. Come with a lot of miniatures. Like 40, I think it said. 
I'm curious if these are duplicates. Okay, these are. Those are duplicates. Same here. These are the same. They have nice, nice inserts for all of them. They got a nice little uh, gra gap system here that way you can actually reach in. Little, little things you notice once you, you design inserts. You're like, oh, okay, I can reach my fingers in here and grab these when they're in the box. This is this is high quality stuff. Again, nothing we were doubting with AEG. Now these are specific to something. Looks maybe like a first turn marker and maybe just a special character. And one last thing, I'm not quite sure what this is, but it's wrapped in tissue paper. Uh oh, did you get something special? Oh, just trace. Cool, they actually might, no. I don't know, until we figure it out, I'm just guessing. But, a lot of nice stuff. Oh, more stuff, more, du more double player boards, or dual layer. So I was about to say, I mean, I, I, I think that we only unpacked like 13 pounds worth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now one one problem is is how do we get it back in the box? <laughs> yeah. Well, we'll have to play this video in reverse. In reverse. <laughs> wow. Yeah. There you go. So it's a, it's a nice quality game. We'll be interested to get it to the table and check yep. it out. Um, learn more about it. Maybe uh, I don't know if it might be too big for a Tuesday session, but at some point we'll figure it out. Um, it's exciting. Like I said, I mean, it's, it's it is interesting now that we're on this side. A lot of Trying to figure out, okay, what goes in the box? How much does it weigh? Uh, of course, I'm always scared of shipping. Yeah. Um, he's very keen on the quality, uh, as, I, as am I, but he just knows it a lot better than I do. And uh, so, from what we can tell, great job AEG. And uh, yep. looking forward to seeing them at Gen Con.